Dancehall Terror Fabulous has had a rough couple of years, but lately things have been looking up. He is now a grandfather as one of his daughters recently gave birth. It is just a joy to know that I am a grandfather now. A new generation a come into play. A that me a deal with now, the future, he told news. He has two daughters, 23-year-old Neftarai and 22-year-old Tonya, both of whom live in overseas. He's been treated for an undisclosed medical condition. Us there, every day, a whole a vibe at RC1 Studio. I did a show in Guyana last year, me and poor man and Gaza Kim. Me do music same way. When me feel tired, me rest and come back again and do music. I do anything, dear Gatiri, or to slack, he said. He continues to earn a good revenue stream from Japanese sound system selectors. My most requested song is definitely Gangsta Anthem followed by Action. The Japanese them check me all the time. Me just get up every day and build music and do the dubs every day, he said. Years ago, he had a resurgence when he recorded Nuff Gyal on a beat for producer Steven McGregor and Black Baby for RC1 Records. Terra Fabulous has been working hard to continue to practice his craft. He continues to earn royalties from his mega hit action featuring Nadine Sutherland. He revealed the story about how that song was contemplated. I still get my royalties. Dave Kelly produced it, wrote it and mixed it. He had an idea and we sat down and wrote it together. I put in a one and two word but I him mostly write it. Nadine was not there when it was done. He called Nadine and she come in, put on her headphones and sing action, not a bag of mouth. It was just magic and then me got in and me lay my, and lay my track, he said. I remember shooting the video in halfway tree and she did the dancing part uptown. It is still my biggest song, he said. When it was first released in 1993, singer Nadine Sutherland and DJ Terra Fabulous dominated clubs and ethnic radio station with the action anthem and also topped numerous local and international reggae charts. Fast forward 25 years and it remains one of the biggest dancehall songs of all time. Terra Fabulous was a peerless hit maker in his time. Other standout songs include Gun Fool, Gun Jezebel, Position, the anti violent song Bad, Talk About, Futuring Wayne Moanda, and the dancer classic Yehuda Ball, with the famous, famous Provo, Provoactive opening question Have you ever seen a 45 before? When he attended Waterford High School, music was his true love even though he played football and represented the school in athletics in the 100 meter and 200 meter at several secondary school track events. Music is part of we from long time. Since I was at Waterford School to St. Catchin, from 9th to 10th to 11th grade, the DJ who was born, Cecil Campbell said, once he left school, he showed early promise with his first first release, Dorothy, an X-rated song on the Battery Rider rhythm that cemented his place with Penthouse Studios. I bought Dave Kelly at Penthouse Studios. I slept, record and wrote in the studio. Me, Bujo, Wayne Wanda, Frankie Sly, Daddy Screw, Donovan Steely, Gary Minot, the whole away, you know, we were writing together, he said. He walked into the annals of dancehall history as his voice dominated the rhythms pumped out by Kelly's hit-making machine, Madhouse label, which had been established in 1991. With his clear, gravely voice delivery, he shadowed Buju Banton for much of the early 1990s, joined comparisons with the Gargamel on songs such as Mr. Big Man on the Bogo rhythm and your the money spent upon the debt in the arena rhythm. Me and Buju buck up at Penthouse together. He was a great DJ. DJ, me and him never have no negative vibes, he said. By 1993, Terra Fabulous has become a household name and begun to attract the attention of music bigwigs upstate. He was signed to East West Records in the wake of the success around action. Over the next years, he would pump out for albums, Guani Guani, The Eponymous, Terra Fabulous, Yaga Yaga, and Lyrical Rough for Jan Jan Records. However, by the turn of 1997, Terra Fabulous had vanished from Dave Kelly's roster and swerved by a new artist, Baby Sham. 
Me and Dave Kelly have nothing. Me would have still record with him today, Terry Fabulous said. After parting ways with Dave Kelly, Terry Fabulous continued to release records for the aforementioned producer Jan Jan and Bobby Dig Digital, but he would disappear from the dancehall circuit by the year 2000 as the word stood on lip of the 21st century. What happened? Question for Terry Fabulous. Life happened. If there was a problem, we know how to solve them. There was really no problem. I just listened to the greats like Bob Marley and Leroy Smart. We just tried to put our music around the greats like them. He said, almostly whimsically. Sonny, this position aside the years progress. There were nonetheless a few hiccups along the way. In June 2012, the DJ was convicted of malicious destruction of property in the Spanish Town Resident Magistrate Court. He was sentenced to 90 days hard labor. However, it was suspended for one year. There has been no repeat of any brushes with the law. Music keep a focus. With the music, we feel tired, we rest and come back again. I just music admission he said so people as you can see Terry Fabulous is still doing it you understand he hasn't gave up from music so a lot of people sometimes they will say where's Terry Fabulous he's gone but no the man say him not gone him still a record him still a do him song them and him still a find it songs so people you can all still Support Terra Fabulous. Still look out for his music and look out for even bigger things to come. This is New Link from New Link Production. And now we say attack, attack. And please never stop attack. Viewers and subscribers, please don't forget for that to hit that notification button when you do subscribe. Because New Link say sub, 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 attack. Big up on yourself, people.